the world's fastest full-frame camera ever made, is going to be announced in early November. And is Sony going to release a much-needed major firmware update with enhancements and not just bug fixes? And is it coming to the Alpha 1? Is Sony about to embark on a new era, providing regular firmware updates, providing enhancements and capabilities like Canon, Nikon, and Lumix? Well, stick around after this short break for all the details. But first, subscribe to this channel for a chance to win a Canon EOS R5. I'll be giving one away to one lucky subscriber once this channel reaches 100,000 subscribers. Anyone above the age of 18 with a valid mailing address is eligible. Additional terms and conditions are linked in the description down below. According to Sony Alpha Rumors, a trusted source has said that Sony will be announcing the Sony A93, billed as the fastest digital camera ever, the fastest digital Sony camera, and that it's most likely going to be announced at the Sony Creator Space 2023 that's held in New York City. It's a three-day event, and the Sony announcement is supposed to occur on November the 8th. But we're not aware of any exact time, nor has an event been scheduled. But here we are on October the 6th, 2023, and nobody has leaked specifications. Not even Sony Alpha Rumors has any triple validated leaked specifications from their trusted sources, though the internet is full of buzz, conjecture, and speculation as to what the A93 might possibly have. However, Andrea did go further saying that the A93 isn't going to be any sort of minor update. In fact, it's going to be a major update. We can expect the A93 to be the fastest full frame Sony camera ever made, which means fastest autofocus, fastest frame rate, fastest everything. And uh, this is going not to be a, a small refresh of the A92, but really there will be a new sensor packed inside the camera that really uh, speeds up the camera by really a lot. So. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, if this is supposed to be the fastest camera ever, it would certainly be the fastest Sony camera ever, fastest Sony digital camera. And that would make it faster than the Sony flagship camera, the Alpha One. So does that mean that the A93 is gonna be more capable, more faster, more faster, gonna be faster? Is it gonna have better stills capabilities and better video capabilities? Well, and that's kind of where this is a little bit vague, but that's where Sony Alpha Rumors' Andrea is leading us. If this is the fastest camera ever, it should be able to shoot more stills at a higher resolution, or at least more stills at the same resolution. And in terms of video, uh, video refresh rates and resolution, well, the Alpha One can do 8K video, but only at 24 and 25 frames per second. And even in that 24 and 25 frames per second, it's limited to a 1.2 times crop. And if we look at the competition, the Nikon Z8, well, it can do a little bit better. So, and, and this is a big if, because when it comes to Sony, they're not one to cannibalize their own lineup. But if this is supposed to be the fastest digital camera ever, well, it will be better than the Alpha One, at least in some capabilities. But what we do know is that Sony registered a camera in early September, and this is very significant because a registration usually indicates that an announcement is gonna happen within one to three months, and that's based on historical data. So the Sony A93 is gonna be announced when? Well, as the registration happened in early September, we're now in early October, there's month one. So we could get an announcement sometime in the third or fourth week of October. And even though we don't have any scheduled announcement from Sony, we've still got plenty of time for that to happen. However, as Sony Alpha Rumors has said, the creator space, the Sony Creator Space 2023, is to take place on November the 8th. And it's a three-day celebration, a three-day event with creators, with Sony, getting together to talk about all things cameras and all things Sony and what they love. And an announcement of the Sony A93 at this event as a sort of a kickoff, that would be a really big deal if this is supposed to be the fastest Sony digital camera ever. The fastest camera ever, not just Sony. That would be really impressive. But now let's turn our attention to a firmware update for the Alpha One. It's supposed to happen sometime in October or November, according to Sony Alpha rumors. And Andrea himself has said, And I've been told we can expect something major, which means uh, not only bug fixes, but also some new features. Finally, right? a firmware update, and not just a bug fix firmware update, an operational support update, but one with major enhancements and capabilities to the Alpha One, bringing in capabilities that we might see in cameras like the FX3, the FX30, 
The A7C, for example, that's, this is a really big deal. A couple of days ago, I, I guess almost a week ago now, Sony executives were recorded as saying in an interview that Sony executives at the highest levels are well aware of the outcry for firmer updates for Sony cameras, especially high-end cameras like the Alpha 1, the A7S III, to bring much-needed enhancements that we're seeing in cameras a fraction of the price, such as the A7C, the A7C II, the ZV-E1, the ZV-E10, and all these other cameras. So when I covered that story, I said, well, yeah, okay, they're aware of it, they're listening, but are they taking action? And according to what Andrea is saying from Sony Alpha Rumors, Sony is not only taking action, but they're going to release a firmware update, a major firmware update, sometime in either October or November. And that's a very big deal. And I want to say a special thanks to Andrea at Sony Alpha Rumors. Whenever it comes to stories that Sony Alpha Rumors says are trusted sources or are coming from trusted sources, you know what? He's pretty much got, well, he's pretty well bang on. I would say he's 95% correct 95% of the time. The Sony A7R5, the A7C, the A7C2, the A7CR, the A6700. He's been very accurate at the specifications for these cameras as well as the dates and prices. So, well, I, I think I've done a pretty good job of covering the Sony A93, the firmware update, Sony Creative Space 2023. Please go ahead and visit Andrea's, or I was going to say new channel, Andrea's channel where he covers the Sony A93, the firmware update, and uh, go ahead and subscribe because it really helps his channel grow. And I think Andrea has been doing a terrific job of covering things, all things Sony. But this is October. It's the early part of October, and this is going to be a very busy month. Now, in terms of camera releases, I don't expect to see any bodies from Canon, although we might get to see some lenses. And Panasonic? <laughs> Well, you know, when it comes to the S1 Mark II, the S1H Mark II, or even the S1R Mark II, things have been absolutely silent. Nothing has leaked out. I haven't heard anything from any previous trusted sources that would indicate that, would indicate that the Sony, not Sony, the Panasonic Lumix S1H Mark II is going to be announced this month. It's possible. After all, Panasonic is very good at keeping things hush-hush. However, if we don't get anything, then I think we're probably looking at a spring announcement. And that's when we're getting the Canon EOS R5 Mark II, the Canon EOS R1, a whole bunch of L-series glass. And as far as Sony goes, we're not supposed to be getting any other cameras, the Alpha 1 being announced this year. That's, in fact, Sony Alpha Rumors has said in the past that when it comes to the Alpha 1, it's not even anywhere close to coming out. So if you're looking for a new camera from Sony and you don't like the A6700 or the ZV cameras or the A7C2, A7CR, then you might be interested in seeing what Sony does with the A9 III. And Canon, of course, with their glasses coming out, or a whole bunch of glass coming out, both for RFS and L series, very expensive glass, but also affordable glass. And of course, what has Nikon got planned? Are they gonna squeeze in the Nikon Z6 Mark III, or even the Nikon Z7 Mark III? And what about some new lenses? Or what about the Canon 200 to 800 millimeter that Jan has told us about that could be coming very soon? And if so, I would expect it to come sometime before the end of October. So if you want to stay up to date on all the latest camera gear news and rumors, then do yourself a favor, go ahead and subscribe and choose all notifications. It also helps this channel grow and get noticed. And if you want to stay up to date on all the, well, minor news and rumors, all those stories that aren't quite big enough to have their own separate video, including pricing information or patent applications, then go ahead and follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter. And if you want to help support this channel in other ways and you're looking at purchasing gear from amazon.com, be a nature at Arama, then consider using my affiliate links down below because depending on what you purchase, I can get anywhere from 2 to 12% back, which goes back to this channel and enables me to purchase lenses like the Canon EOS R5 Mark II and the Canon EOS R1. But that's it for now. Have yourself a great weekend. And for those of you in Canada, have yourself a happy Thanksgiving. When are you planning on celebrating Thanksgiving? For us, because of my wife's work, we're actually going to celebrate it on Saturday when we normally traditionally celebrate it on Sunday. Anyhow, have yourself a great weekend, and we'll see you again soon.